Hello everybody! In this short video I'm going to explain to you to calculate areas in AutoCAD. Along with the explanation I will share to you also a nice tip to automatically place the area in a text object. So let's start! First I'm going to calculate the area of this rectangle. You will see that it's very simple. I can go to the measure tool in the utilities panel and click on the icon area. Then I just need to click in all the vertexes and press enter at the end. The area is shown next to the cursor and the perimeter is also calculated next to it. Another thing, this value is very big because it's in square millimeters. Now look to the next example. This time I want to calculate the area of this figure. It has a lot of corners, but don't worry. This time let's use the alias of the command. It's AA. As you see, it would take a long time to select all the points. But hopefully there is a much quicker way. On the command bar, the prompt when I start the area command says specify corner point or other options. I select object and then if I click on the polyline it calculates its area in just one click, so easy. Ah, uh, but of course the object should be an enclosed area, otherwise it will not work. In this command there is also the ability to subtract and add areas. For example, I want to measure the sum of these two rooms. For that I need to click in add area then I do the same as before, I select all the vertexes, I press enter when I finish the first rectangle, now you can see it written, the area and total area. Now the numbers are equal because I only measured one space. Next, I select the vertexes for the second room. So this time it indicates the area of the second room and the total area of both. Now suppose I want something like this, the area of that wall except the windows. I repeat the same process, choosing add area again, select the corners of the wall and this time I need to click on subtract area and you can guess the result. What I'm drawing now is subtracting from the green surface. I press enter and pick the corners of the window below to subtract also that area. When I finish, if I click on add area, I will add now an area to the existing. So you can see that it's quite easy to measure areas in AutoCAD. Now let's look at an interesting tip. In the next example we will see how we can display automatically the area in the text. I will show you also to convert units and to put the square meter symbol. I'm going to insert the text in the interior of this rectangle. It can be either single line or multi line text. I type text to insert a single line text, click in the start point, I choose the text height, for example 200, then I go to this side to put it horizontal and type area two points and click in the blank space and then press escape or enter to exit the command. Next, double click on the text again, place the cursor where you want to appear the value of the area, right click with the mouse and then go to insert field. In this window you can see several options to insert. Select object on field category, then click on the icon to select objects, select the polyline and now on this option select area. And look, on the preview you can see now the value that will appear on the text. Then I can change the precision if I want, click OK and here you have the result. Ok, now how could I show the value in square meters? Double click again on the text and go to edit field. 
If we go to additional format, there is the option conversion factor. And to convert from square millimeters to square meters, I need to type this 0.501. Or in order to be sure I'm typing the right number, I can type 1e for exponential minus 06. Finally, I click on OK and close the window and you can have the area converted in square meters. But how can I add that symbol? The square meter symbol. When I was at the additional format before, there was a place to add a suffix. If I type m, the symbol of meters, that will appear after the value and you can see it on the preview. However, I can't add the number 2 as a superscript here, that small number above. So, my suggestion for this is to draw a multi-line text, write area, two points, hit space, then type M2, select the number 2 and click on this icon at the text editor to convert to a superscript. Then place the cursor before M and insert the field. If I change the area of the object, I need to update the field, as it doesn't change automatically. Double click in the text and then on the shortcut menu, click on update field, like that. Last tip in this video. The field is by default displayed in a grey background. The reason of this might be to be easier to recognize. However, if you don't like it, you can turn off the background. On the command bar, type the system variable field display and then change the value to zero. And you can see that it has now disappeared. Ok, so that's all in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and if this kind of teaching suits your interest, you can check out my channel page Cadimbla. There you will find full tutorials for beginners, tips and tricks or even videos with exercises step by step. So I say goodbye for now, until the next time.